Okay, so you guys, I have been going crazy trying to figure out why my peace lilies um, have been turning black right here. Can you? Yeah, right here. Um, damn it, I forgot. I was doing research all afternoon and I already forgot the name of this. But I thought that maybe they were being overwatered or underwatered. Um, and I looked online and did some research and I'm going to have to cut them off. See, some of them are already starting right there. And it turns out that... See that one right there? I think this is the only one that hasn't fully... Oh, look at how beautiful it is. Oh my gosh, it's so gorgeous. And that one is the bigger one, actually. It's bigger than the rest. It's the biggest one. So apparently you're supposed to cut them because um, they have a lifespan or something. And then this is the pollen falling off i think <laughs> so i already cut two of them off as you can see here and this one so apparently you're supposed to cut them off once they turn like that because then that will um um that will like let the f let the plant itself grow more new flowers and if you can see here, the reason why I came to the conclusion that it that it is this. Oh my god, my light went off. Okay, wait a minute, you guys. Wait a minute. Let me see if I can do this. Okay, so I'm back. So what was I saying? Um so yeah, you have to cut them off once they turn black like this because it means that the pollen has come off already right now there may have been other reasons why this was happening you see but what really sealed it for me is the fact that if you look at some of the leaves you will see the pollen like right here especially you see the white stuff that's the pollen that fell off so I cut two of them off and I still have a few to cut off and once you cut them off you know it 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 helps the plant like grow new ones it will motivate it to grow new flowers so at first I thought I was overwatering it um but I'm, I'm hoping this is the reason I'm pretty sure it is because I can see the pollen all over the place I'm gonna use a washcloth to wet all the leaves later after I cut them to cut these flowers off and we'll see what happens um then you have some small ones here that are growing in already look at this baby look at this one right here so pretty so let me see i had one two three four five six seven eight i had ten and i cut two off so i have eight remaining here and i think i'm gonna have to cut like four more so i'll be mm, maybe five or well four and then i'll be left with like six so yeah so if you guys are having any issues the same issues like you're ready now you just have to like cut them off and you know cut them off and let the new growth come in all right i will talk to you guys later Yo, so one last thing I forgot to mention is that when you're cutting this, and I'm cutting this one right here, um, you have to cut it as low as you can, you know? Oop. There you go. So yeah, oh, look at, look at, look at this. Look at this one. Look at all the pollen. Wow. That's crazy. It's a lot. And yeah, that's it. Look at this. Oh my gosh. So yeah, I did end up cutting. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five. Let me see. Five in total, you see. And I left five of them up here. There's still like one or two that look like they, like th this one right here. But I'm going to leave it for now, so, yeah. Alright, 
talk to you guys later let me know if any tips you know on how to take care of these peace lilies because i've heard that you don't really have to water them that much it's only like once a week when the soil is dry um so as not to overwater them so let me know down in the comments and i will talk to you later bye